Oh, great! This is what my husband did. This is what my husband did. He called me from a friggin' phone, and it came up this way. You're a dead motherfucker. Voice print that. You're a goddamn pussy when I catch up to you. I'm gonna fucking put a hurting on you. I'm a Christian, but you're dead. Okay? You wanna call my house, pussy? Obviously, you got no balls. You got no balls, bitch. You wanna call me like my husband did from his phone? And come up not available because you got no balls to face me? You ain't me, bitch. You'll never be me. And you won't face me. And I will keep praising God because you're going to have yours. You're done. You messed with the wrong mommy. You stole the wrong kids. Play this fucking bullshit game again. Voice print that. Oh, wait, I forgot I am. You see that? You gonna keep calling me? Oh, now you're gonna have some mouth? Huh? You're gonna have no mouth. I'm gonna rip your fucking teeth out of your fucking mouth. Because obviously... You don't have the balls to use them. You don't have the balls to come to my house. Okay? I don't do phone conferences. Obviously, you're going to call me from next door. Come on, bring it. I'm voice printing everything. And it's going to be the world. It's going to know how pissed off I am. You messed with the wrong mommy. They're next door. They're right here in this area. So log it in. They are so close. They're either across the street or right next door. Two doors down, I bet you, at Tracy Felici's house. Tony Felici, Tracy Felici is probably right there. Or these asshole blit niggers that decided they were going to pretend to be nurses at this uh, gr group, uh, group home. Because there was an awful lot of traffic one year coming in and out of that group home. Back here. Because you're close, baby. You're close. You're close. I know you hear me, motherfucker. See that group home right there? They're either coming from there or there. They're close. Because my husband called me downstairs without having a phone number. I have it recorded, so... I don't know if I stuck it on Facebook or not. She's threatening everybody. Well, you messed with me for too many years. You called my house. You called my apartment when I was living with Brandon. Oh, that's why I don't answer the phone. I'm afraid my mom's going to call me. I don't want to talk to her. I'm glad that worked for you. So I would answer the phone, think it's my, my mom or, or my ex-husband, because I would keep in contact with my ex-husband, because of my son. At the time, he was still my husband. So, meanwhile, I would call, they would call when I, and two, this is 2002, okay? We're going back 2002. Okay, so... And then it just didn't stop. So I changed my number like four times. I'm not changing my number again, and you're not stealing another number. You're not stealing another number. My husband's not home yet. He should be home soon. So, meanwhile, meanwhile, it just keeps going. And my husband's like, well, why are you screaming at the phone? Why don't you just get the phone number changed? Because that was your freaking scam for too many years and I'm done with the scam I'm gonna face it and I'm gonna let the whole world know about what you've done to me and then it got worse once they got into the computerized uh, online electronic electronic signing electronic buying um, electronic banking yeah everything became electronic uh, card reading yeah 
as soon as everything became electronic, they were able to. And his aunt was stealing my mail from day one. I had the highest credit of all. I had like 17.5, whatever that meant. I had really, really high credit when I met my husband. And then they pulled me down so far to where they made me feel like a piece of shit. Like, like, oh, you don't have good credit. Oh, I got to take you off. No, I had the highest credit. That's the only way he got this mortgage for this house. I bought this house in 2004. I did. He wouldn't have bought this house if it wasn't for me. Because he would have been a first-time buyer. I had the high credit. I had a great job. I was making $700. I was making like $2,000 a month. With health benefits. Great health benefits. And then somebody, he gives me a card back. Oh, my God. Check this out. My card that I used to use for Mercer's Bergen, my health insurance card that I had for Mercer's Bergen a couple years ago. He gives it back to me and doesn't realize that I would re recognize my own health insurance number. I used to be great at numbers till they freaking messed me all up. Oh, she's delusional. She's got amnesia. No, I don't. It's called you screwed me up. You poisoned me for so many years. And I'm going to let the whole world know about it. Isn't that funny? I think I even put that on Facebook at one time about my health insurance card. It ain't going to fly. It's not going to fly no more. I'm done. You can come home, be the nice husband that you are, pretend to be my husband. Because you know all, his, all your freaking bitches that you were messing with are going to jail. So now he's going to be nice to me because he realizes what, how good of a person I was to him. I would go in my, uh, there, somebody was talking to me last night, right? Uh, my kids, I usually, I went into the room until they went to sleep, and then I would go into the bedroom. But then as soon as they would wake up, they would come in my room again and climb in bed with me. So then I just got used to just staying, staying with my kids in their bedroom to keep them comfortable because of what they've been through, the traumatic so, until I feel, until they really, you know, really grew out of it. But, meanwhile, meanwhile, I would go in and sleep with my husband. And then it just got to the point where I would just stay in the room. And then uh, in the middle of the night, I'd go in there, visit with my husband, and come back out. You know, or go back in to, to keep them comfy. So that I could get some sleep. So, but that was my life. And that's what's going on in the whole world. Oh, it's part of life. Life sucks, don't it? It shouldn't have been because it should have been a lot easier than this. I should have had a job. I should, because I, I started to get a job. But they poisoned me the night before I was supposed to start at Maria's as a waitress. Maria's Italian Bistro. My heart, they all poisoned me. I was so sick I couldn't move. And then every time I went to do something, they would poison me again. So I couldn't go out. My sister and I was supposed to, because my sister and I became really close, Melissa Heston. We became really, really close. We started to. And uh, me and her were supposed to go over and try, and try out for an audition for um, Deal or No Deal. Well, they poisoned me. I, called my, I had to call my sister and told her I couldn't go. Okay, I was supposed to go at midnight. We were going to go and sit and wait in line. It sucks knowing what these people done after all these years. I didn't do anything wrong. You assholes. Scum of the earth. Oh, I can't wait. I can't wait until I can get everything back that you stole. That somebody comes to my doorstep with a freaking truck and hands me my shit back. And my kids. Praise God. Hallelujah. Peace be with me. Hope is in front of me. Amen. Amen. I'm getting my, I just cooked dinner. I'm having nice chicken, stir fry. Rice. My meat. Praise God. Amen. Peace.
his.